This one is a benefit, uh, uh, the fight against uh, date rape. It's a whole benefit concert we're going to do for, for the show. Why? Well, it should be it should be a lot of fun in here for you great. performing. Let me ask you something. This is off the subject, just between us. Go ahead. Um, I notice when you when you, whenever you're around females that they just go they go bananas. Uh, <laughs> Well, they do. They do. And, and uh, you know, there's another guy that bugs me a little bit, Dave Cos from our band. You know, great saxophonist. But again, the girls go nuts. I, what do you guys have that I don't have? I can't figure... It's, it must be just being musicians, I guess. They really go for you. No, no, no. It's, it's, trust me, it's not the music, believe me. Really? No. What, what, what is it? You know what? Do you want to come with me? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to... Thanks. I'm going to give you Michael. a quick yeah. little, uh, yeah. little lesson I, I learned a long time ago. Hello, girls. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. Here you go. Hello, girls. <laughs> From Television City in Hollywood, horse racing great Bill Shoemaker. From the Young and the Restless, Michael Damien. This album is uh, right here. It's called Where Do We Go From Here? Are we okay audio-wise here? Just want to be sure we're okay. I hear, I hear a buzz in my ear, and I just want to be sure everything's fine. Everything fine? Everybody happy? Well, it sounds good to me. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to his sing his number one hit, Rock On, please welcome Michael Damien.
You guys need some energy out there. Yeah. That would help a lot. How you feeling? Oh, Boy, that's good. You, you need some breath? You want some water? Yeah, we have genuine thank you. water yeah. for you and everything. Uh, you're in the middle of this tour now? Are you? Uh, yep. Yeah? And, uh, and are you able to speak now? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wait a minute. Uh, I'm ready now. Go ahead. All right. Okay. Now tell tell the tell the clothing story because I didn't I didn't realize just before the show we, we were chatting briefly and you said you had this <laughs> spiffy new jacket picked out that you were going to wear cost like eight billion dollars or something like that. Well, it's pretty embarrassing. Oh, go ahead. Embarrass yourself. No one's watching. <laughs> no, I, I I just thought you know I'm doing this show. I thought I would wear this way cool jacket and uh, no. the reason I was late tonight. No, it's not this one. No, it's not this one. All right. Well, I, I got this jacket, and the guy at the clothing store says, there's only three jackets in the world like this. You bought that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, he said a small, medium, and a large. I took the large. Uh -huh. There was no medium. Uh -huh. I'm watching your show the other night, and the guy that's Roger Rabbit is wearing the jacket. Charlie Fleischer. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so you bought... I mean, I don't know. I just don't think that's cool coming out here in Roger Rabbit's jacket. No. It was no. Just, I, I don't <laughs> so, know. Well, it's a nice jacket, but is it, do you have it with you? Maybe... We're... Why yeah, we, maybe you're gonna, really, you're gonna really nail no, me on the, the jacket. During the commercial round, oh. up. people should get to see this jacket. That they want the to jacket that never made it out there. Yeah, we'll do it. I'll tell you what, we'll take a break. We'll let you catch your breath, and we'll be back with Michael Damien. Stay right there. Yeah, we're back. Michael Damien is here. Is this the uh, is this the jacket to which we we're referring? This was just a. There it is. Oh, that's there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There. You could have seen him in this, but Charlie Fleischer screwed it up for you. We want. I want my money back. <laughs> no. No, you can wear it. Uh, you can wear it somewhere else. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it. Uh, wear it. Wear it on some cable I'm gonna, show. I'm gonna, rest, no, no. I'm gonna wear it on the concert. All right, we'll well, wear it at the concert. Yeah, yeah, see, that'll be good. Now, when are you, when are you actually taping the concert? We're gonna scene? tape the uh, concert for Young and the Restless tomorrow. Well, as a matter of fact, it's gonna be a big. Uh, yeah. All Look right. at these. Look at this tour. July 26, Pittsburgh. July 27th, Jones Beach, New York. July 28th, Holmdel, New Jersey. July 29th. Chautauqua, 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 New York. Uh, August yeah. 1st, Allentown, Pennsylvania, and the list goes what on. What are those? Are those? I think you're going to be... Oh, those you, are my... You have to show up here. Oh, those are my concert dates. Yeah, have to go they there. look familiar. Yeah. I, I knew that. I, yeah, uh, you're going to steam a lot of people you. if you don't show up at these places. Well, anyway, it's, is, it going to, is it going well so far, Wonderful. the tour? Wonderful. I'll tell you, the, uh, the Fan, cities have been just fantastic. And the fans go nuts, don't they, around? You know? they've been, they've are you handling that okay? What, what do they do? What do they, what do, they do? Just, uh, you know... Scream, grab, You know, that kind of thing, yeah. 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 yeah, that kind they've, of thing. They've been really great, I'll tell you. Uh, we had, uh, we had, <laughs> there was one girl came up to, uh, came up to the band after the show and said, I love the show so much, I'm taking a cash advance for $1,500 on my visa and following you for two weeks. Wow, so you're just putting yeah. young women in so debt she, all around the country. Yeah, I hope she doesn't send me the bills. <laughs> so well, she, well, that's uh, nice, that's nice. It's, oh, they're nice. great, they've been great. Each city's been Real, the town had been supportive everywhere. You know, the hotels we stay at have yeah. been great. You don't bust up hotel rooms? No, no, no oh, we, good. not anymore. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this song, Rock On, that was David Essex, what, 1973, right. four, something exactly. like that? 73. Uh, why'd you do this one? Uh, Rock On was my favorite song in 73 when I was going to school. I was 11 years old. Wow. And, uh, Who'd have thunk, huh? It was, yeah. it was this heroic, rebellious song that was so different than any, anything else on the radio. You know, at that time, there were songs like uh, Seasons in the Sun and, and Billy Don't Be a Hero, and, and Rock On came out. It was so different, and I always remembered the song. And about 10, 11 months ago, I was driving home to my... I have a recording studio I built in my garage, and I went home. I was just singing the song in the car. I haven't heard it on the radio since 73, and tried some different ideas, uh, putting a straightforward drum beat through the song, and actually using power guitars. You know, Rock On, the original, never had guitars on it, uh -huh. and it was called Rock On. And, and it had that really interesting slap delay. So did you end up doing it in, in, in the garage? garage. That's yeah. the version that came out on the radio is the one I recorded in the garage. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You've been with the show. I was surprised about this, too. The time goes so quickly. You've been on the show over eight years. Yeah, over eight years. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Gee, you know, if only we had something from one of your early, early times on the show. If only that could be... If only the director could say, roll it. What, what are you guys doing?
you know? That was... And, you know, a lot of young little spandexes <laughs> had to give their lives to make those pants. What was I wearing? Where did I, I get... I don't know. That was... Oh. How long, that would that have been near the beginning? That was the first concert I, I did on Young and the Restless. Oh, now, you are, you know, in, in, um, uh, in, in soap operas,